Hey there, my name's Steve and I'm the head of community with Pinata. And today we're gonna to show you how you can create your own mid-journey prompt gallery with mid-journey, chat GPT, and Pinata. So let's get started. To start, you'll want to use mid-journey, which is right now accessible through Discord. If you go to their website, they'll give you lots of instructions on how to get started, as well as signing up for a paid account, which is really handy. Once you have an account, you can go ahead and start prompting. And you can do that either through their general channels or you can do it through a DM with their bot directly, which is what I prefer because it's easier to keep track of. Once you're ready to go, all you have to do is type into the chat slash and then do imagine. And then you wanna go ahead and type in your prompt. And there's a whole world of ways you can prompt and get the best results. Midjourney basically gives instructions to keep it simple, make it not too complicated or worthy. And you can go to their docs at docs.midjourney.com to see more info on tips and how you can get the best results. So I have one here I'm going to paste in. It's just cowboy hat, purple hot lang bling aesthetic, studio product photography, and I'm going to do an aspect ratio of 9 by 16 because I want this to be kind of more mobile designed. And we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to start generating our image. All right. And once it's done, it'll typically give you some kind of notification to let you know. And you basically get these four images to choose from. And from these, you can either do upscale to get a bigger look at it, or you can do variations. So for instance, for our look and our product that we're going for with these cowboy hats, I'm kind of thinking something along a variation of number two might give us some better results. So let's give that a shot. All right, that's looking pretty good. And I think I'm gonna pick number three here. So I'm gonna hit upscale three. Excellent. And once we have our image, we're gonna go ahead and save it so we can upload it to Pinata in a minute. So we'll just click on this, right click, save as, and then save it to your computer. Now that we've got our files from Midjourney, it's time to host them on Pinata. So to start with that, just go ahead and visit app.pinata.cloud and either sign in with an existing account or go ahead and sign up. You are probably going to need the picnic plan to complete this tutorial. Once we're signed in, it's really simple to upload a file. Just go to the top right here, click add files, select a file, and then select it from your computer. Once our file is uploaded, we can go ahead and click on this preview button to go look at it. And there we go, that's what it looks like. You wanna go ahead and do this with the rest of your images and then save the URLs for each image. Now that we have all of our content, it's time to ask ChatGPT to go ahead and build this HTML project or this prompt gallery for us. And so we're gonna start with a prompt that's basically going to give it some instructions as to who it is, as well as see if it has any questions for us. And this will help make sure that we cover all the areas of our project, even the ones that we're not really thinking about. So as you can see, it's gonna provide several questions here. So let's just go ahead and answer these real quick. Now, as you can probably see in the code, it's gonna basically have where the image goes and what the description is and things like that. And we could probably try to fill some of that in ourselves, but if you're not too sure, you can always ask ChatGPT where those things go or even just give it the material like this. Say, can you please put these image links in for me? All right, there we go. And it's gonna go ahead and give us the full HTML code with the images as well. Now, once it's done, you wanna scroll up and you wanna go ahead and click on copy code right here. And once we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and move to our online code editor called Replit. Replit is a free online code editor and it makes it really simple to start a small project, get a preview of it and download the files or do other stuff with it. So go ahead and sign up for a free account. And once you've done that, you'll wanna go ahead and go to the top left here and hit create repel. And from there, you'll wanna just select the HTML, CSS and JS template and we'll just call this Cowboy Hat Gallery and hit Create Repel. And once we're in here, we can just go ahead and select all of our text and paste in our HTML code. 
and then either hit Command S if you're on Mac or Control S on Windows to save. And that's going to give us the start of our project right here. And now if you're looking at this, you can probably tell it doesn't look 100% ready. It doesn't look really great. It has kind of some weird scrolling behaviors, which is not natural. And <clears throat> I would probably prefer some kind of intro beginner thing. So what we can do is just go back to ChatGPT, discuss what changes we want with it. It'll give us some updated code. Go back and forth a bit, tell it very specifically what you want. And eventually you'll get to a place that you're really comfortable with. All right, so I've gone back and forth with ChatGPT and Replit and tried to fine tune my little design here. And I think I really like how it's going. I have all of my images. I have all the prompts that I use to get these images and a nice little title that I added in there as well. So once we feel like our project's ready, the last step is just to go up to here where this says index.html, the file, and click download. And that's gonna download an index.html file to our computer. And then we just need to upload that to Pinata. So I've uploaded my file to Pinata, and of course, all I have to do is just click on the preview, and I will get my project, just like that. Well, that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, feel free to drop them down below, and be sure to visit us at pinata.cloud.